नमस्कार अ वॉम वेलकम दिस इंटरेक्शन विथ यू ऑल इज एन एक्ट ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन इन द होप टू इंस्पायर दोज हु बिलीव दैट ड्रीम्स कैन बी टर्न इन टू रियलिटी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू ऑल माई विक्ट्री over adversities of life with the help of my art when my art became the celebration of love and compassion i am a classical dancer i have been performing dance in india and abroad for past 30 years i have been conducting dance workshops for national as well as international institutions i have written books on art but i don't have any art background or any family legacy of dance born in a family of doctors engineers and scientists education was the most important aspect of my growing in fact my first dance class was a reward for me for scoring good marks in matriculation but i was lucky to experience my art at a very tender age those days we used to have ganesh festivals and during that in the community center we used to have a cultural event there the dance teacher spots me and then she asks me to do a small role of child krishna we used to rehearse in someone's house or on the terrace of the building with rigorous rehearsals everything was going perfect but there is a vast difference between practice and performance on the day of the performance as the music started the singers got nervous and they didn't sing at all there was a confusion in the wings dancers didn't know whether to enter or no or wait for the singers but i heard the music and rhythm and i just entered and did my bit with the rhythm and got applause that was my first encounter with this inner energy in us which comes out when there is adversity in our life looking back now i feel that's mainly because my canvas was clean and clear so key to tap this inner energy is to keep our canvas clean and clear like a child later on i started learning dance formally with many gurus my bharatnatyam guru guru shri mani and my odissi guru guru shri kelu charan mahapatra molded me not only in my dance but also molded my life during college days i was very active i used to play ball badminton and cricket at national level i was very much interested in music and theater i did my masters in economics i taught economics in a very reputed college of mumbai i was a news reader i was sort of jack of all master of none but all through one companion was constant with me that was my dance and then at a point of time there was a calling of my passion and then i gave up all my other activities to concentrate all my time and energy towards my dance this response to my passion gave me the blissful moments of performing and i could feel the flavor the rasa in indian dance theory in natya shastra there is a rasa theory natya shastra an encyclopedia on indian dance drama and music describes various hand gestures fit positions and fit movements there are hastamudras like pataka tripataka 
ಅರ್ಧ ಪತಾಕ ಕರ್ತರಿ ಮುಖ ಮಯೂರ ಅರ್ಧ ಚಂದ್ರ ರಾಲ ಶುಕತುಂಡ ಮುಷ್ಟಿ ಶಿಖರ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಹಸ್ತ ಮುದ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೋಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಟ್ಯಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನಾಟ್ಯಾರಂಭೆ ವಾರಿ ವಾಹೆ ವನೆ ವಸ್ತು ನಿಷೇಧನೆ ಕುಚಸ್ಥಲೆ ನಿಶಾಂ ಚ ನದ್ಯಾಂ ಅಮರ ಮಂಡಲೆ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಜೆಸ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೋ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಗರಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಜೆಸ್ಚರ್ ಪತಾಕ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಓ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಗೋ ಅವೇ ವೇರ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ರಸ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ I feel our inner energies are like this rasa. We can't see them, but we have to feel them. And for that, hard work and sincerity is the most important aspect. In our life, death, accident, divorce, these are the things we don't even imagine till it occurs to us. same thing happened to me i went through a devastating divorce which was almost a taboo those days my husband who was a singer just disappeared and i was again back to the same situation of my first performance where i danced without song only with the rhythm but this time i was more mature so i wrote my own melody removing the cobweb of grief and sorrow i started my dance again all of us have some wound deep in our heart time heals the wound but time also burns the energy but time can't burn the source which ignites its energy the source this week which ignites its energy is something very important and to do that i think we have to remove the cobweb of negativity around it i did that that was a very difficult period in my life i was decoding my existence there was emotional churning going on within me but i kept on practicing and performing i was on a concert tour of uk at the fag end of my concert tour i was performing in london and there was a call from my mother as soon as i said hello she said are you unwell just on a telephone call she could understand the state of my illness i think we have some invisible umbilical cord connected to our mothers and she said you come back immediately after your performance we were taught to obey our elders sometimes it helps i came back next day the sonography was done and 10 inches big tumor was found in my abdomen doctors and everybody was shocked that i was performing with that but it was a silent killer i was suggested immediate surgery but i was thinking about my performance i said i have a performance after few days so let me finish that doctor said no you can't perform with this tumor you were lucky that no mishap happened in london so i had to agree and surgery was performed but i was determined to perform dance immediately after that stitches were removed and on 15th day of my surgery i danced at nehru center mumbai i was like a possessed woman i was challenging my destiny and i surrendered myself to the energy within me that day it was not me who was dancing it was almost like mind over matter because no one in the audience could find out 
that I was performing after a big surgery. It was almost a day of victory. My family, doctors, everybody was very happy. But ordeal was not over. Next day, the biopsy report came and the tumor was malignant. And the whole cycle of chemotherapy started. I asked doctor, can I dance during chemotherapy? He said, let's try, which gave me a big relief. But he said, you will have many side effects. You won't have hair on your head. You will lose appetite. You will have nausea. You will have body pain. You will have numbness underneath your feet and your palm. But let's try. And I tried. I followed my doctors and my dietitian to a T. I would manipulate my performance dates on the third week of chemo cycle so that my blood count is normal. I had no eyebrows, no eyelashes, so I had to manipulate, innovate my makeup. I could not put wig on my head because there were no hairs to put a clip. So my mother made a lovely wig with thread to tie it to my ear so that I will feel comfortable and confident while dancing. With all these things, these difficulties, I was dancing and I questioned myself, why am I doing this? There is nothing, no fame, no money, but still I'm doing this. Then I realized that I was doing it for that beautiful, blissful moment which I was sharing with my audience. That was my tonic. And I kept on dancing. Later on, radiation time was very difficult. My body was not responding to music. I decided to do more of Abhinaya in dance. I started reading poetry, I started innovating, thinking about doing new productions. And it opened up a different uh, uh, path for me. Till the time I finished my radiation, I never told anybody about my illness. Along with the treatment, I took equal stress of hiding my illness. I was not sharing it with anybody. Of course, I thought nobody will give me performance if they come to know that I'm a cancer patient. Then I slowly, slowly, I started going out, meeting people. And one day I met one lady. And she told me she was taking cancer treatment. And I found her very depressed. She was not at all positive about bouncing back to life. And I could not resist myself. I told her my story. And I told her everything about my chemo cycles, radiation, my performances. She didn't say anything, she just went away. I thought, oh my God, why I have discussed this with her? Maybe she's more depressed now. But after two, three months, she called me and she told me that you changed my life. When you told me about your illness, I started responding positively to the treatment. And that day, it changed my life. I felt as if I have purified my soul. And I started sharing my experience with everyone. I wrote a book on my experience. I started collecting money for cancer patients and helping them. I started talking to them. This has changed my life so much. So sharing of this energy is something very important in my life now. I feel if we have Virtuous objective, our art, our passion will always heal us and show us the path to rediscover that energy which is within us. Thank you.